What's up you guys, it's your girl Leverly and I am back with another video. As you can see from the thumbnail and the title, in today's video I am going to be showing you guys step by step how to make this outdoor balloon arch base. But before we get started, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. So I've always DIY'd my balloon column bases and arches, but I've never made a base for a outdoor arch. So instead of using the one that I normally use and taking a big risk, I found a video on YouTube from Sandy Missouri. She's an expert in balloon decoration and I saw one of her videos where she made an outdoor balloon arch base and it's basically the same way I make mine since 2012 but she used some um, heavy duty materials which made a lot of sense for outdoor arches and balloon decoration so I took some ideas from her videos, I went to Home Depot, got the supplies and here we are. I'm about to show you guys exactly how I achieved my outdoor balloon arch. Also, I will leave a link to her channel in my description box below if you would like to go over there and check out some of her videos. She has balloon um, decoration videos from 10 years ago and you guys will love it. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, you guys, so this is the pipe that I used to use for my arch back in the day like I've had this since 2012 I don't even know the name of the type of pipe because as I said it was years ago and I just went there and grabbed this and it's very flexible hence why I use it as the top of the arch so what I would do is tape duct tape both ends to the top of the um, column threaded pipe and then that will create the arch. I'll try to insert a picture to show you guys how it looked. But this is what I used to use and these are perfect for indoors. And I'm not sure how it is outside. I've never made an arch with it outside. So I don't know how it will hold up. That is why I didn't risk it and I made a whole new base. So this is how the balloon columns would look with the base that I've made with Home Depot supplies and this is how it would look when I attach that pipe to make it into a arch. If y'all would like to see a tutorial on both of these things, let me know in the comment section below. Alright guys, so I went to the Home Depot and they got this sheet of plywood which was about 4 by 8 and by the time he was finished cutting it all, I got around 8 sheets of um two by two boards so it was way cheaper they do sell two by two boards that's already cut but those are fourteen dollars a piece and the whole sheet of plywood cost me sixty dollars so it worked out cheaper because i got more for my money so in the electrical section i picked up this emt half inch pipe that i measured and cut in half using a tube cutter some locations um of the home depot do cut the pipes for you but um, the ones here in California don't so they had me pick up this tube cutter and cut it by myself which was super easy to use surprisingly. Now for the next step, I took this 3 quarter of an inch flange. I used a pencil to draw out all four holes and made sure that it was perfectly centered onto my plywood. Then I took my drill and drilled all four holes right through the wood. I'm going to be taking my carriage bolts and inserting them from the bottom up so that when I attach my flange, I will just use my hex nut and um, screw that. But you guys will see exactly how I do it. All the accurate measurements for these carriage bolts will be in the description box. I just went to the Home Depot and picked up the ones that fit perfectly um, in the flange and also the ones that was long enough to go through the board. Okay, so after I um, inserted my carriage bolt from the bottom up, I placed my flange on top of that and then used my hammer to knock it down so it could be flat down on the board. Then I took my hex nut and screwed them onto the carriage bolt and then I took the pliers and tightened those. And remember guys, you need to make sure that your hex nut is tightened so that when you attach your balloons and your other stuff, it won't fall apart. And 
And now I'm going to move on to painting the wood. I'm using a glossy white paint that I already had from a different project. If you know the correct paint to use for plywood, please drop it in the comment section below. It might help someone. And guys, I'm leaving the center clear of paint just in case one day I would have to remove the bolt. I did not want it to be difficult. And also when you add the balloons and everything, it won't show. So yes, I just saved myself the trouble by leaving it clear of paint. Now into the flange, I'm going to be using this 3 quarter of an inch threaded pipe which is about 6 inches tall as well and this is where you'll be inserting your EMT pipe, the ones that we cut earlier and you guys will see exactly how I do that. And this is the half inch EMT pipe that we cut earlier that I'm inserting into the threaded pipe and then using some Gorilla Tape for extra security. Alright guys, so for the final step, I'm using these gray electrical PVC pipes with the belt at the end and they're about three quarters of an inches and I used two of them for two of my arches and the total height was about seven and a half feet. So if you need a bigger arch, then all you have to do is attach more of these PVC pipes, but no extra cutting was needed for these pipes. All I did was attach two of them together, no tape just use the belt at the end and it came out perfectly. <laughs> 